about you real estate agents. Well, you know, we've been having a lot of fun talking about this writing thing and the, um, the fun you can have at the supermarket looking for magazine covers to come up with the great headlines. As I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago, my favorite still is this cover from Oprah Magazine. And I've actually been using this quite a bit, which is the one diet tip you've never heard before and uh, converting it to the one home selling tip you've never heard before. And I actually used it with a TV interview that I did and also with the national newspaper um, writer who interviewed me today for a story that hopefully will appear in the Wall Street Journal, we'll see. And anyway, headlines that like that really are captivating, but today I thought I'd give you some tips on what to do after you've come up with a great headline to come up with some great content that you can share with your sphere of influence. First of all, you need to understand that writing matters. In this world of you know quick communication and emails and texting, really well put together reports and marketing pieces are critically important to be used to portray yourself as an expert in your marketplace. Understand that you have a message. You do have a message. You are in the real estate business. You're an expert in your marketplace. You have a message that's important for other people to hear. Therefore, you have to understand point number next is that people really do care about your message. Understand that no matter what price range you're in, especially though in the luxury market, whatever level your luxury market is determined at, people have huge investments in their property and your, your perspective on the market really does matter to them. Number next, which I think is four, is understand that presentation is critical. And in fact, this goes for speaking as well as writing. Your presentation matters. Think about your sentence structure. Think about your spelling. Think about your punctuation. Think about how great the paper looks and how well it's set up and how readable the font and type size that you're using is. Speaking, which I'm not going to get into a great deal right now, is critically important. Use all the letters you have in the alphabet. You know, some people, I've heard some people in the high end forget to use their G's, for instance. We're moving on rather than we're moving on. So presentation matters to an extent you can't even believe in this business. So as we want to start our writing and write a report, we begin by doing an outline. And as I said before, the great way to write an outline is to write your compelling headline. Once you have the headline, the outline is easy to do. And just like our bodies have a skeleton, the outline is a skeleton of the report or marketing piece that you're going to write. Once you have the outline down, it's so easy to fill in the blanks or to fill in around the outline points and try to come up with three points, three major points for each one of your, your articles or reports and discuss each point in one paragraph. Devote one paragraph to each point. Keep everything in the same tense. You know, don't talk about present tense in one second, uh, one sentence, and then be in the past tense in your next sentence. But discuss each point. So you have an introductory paragraph that tells people what you're going to talk about, the three points. Then you devote a paragraph to each point. Unless you're doing, you know, 7, 10, 12, or 21, then you can do a paragraph for each one of those numbers. And then at the end, most importantly, you want to do a summary. Summarize everything, pull it all together, and ideally, if you're using this for building your business, you want to end with a call to action. Anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about for writing for a while. If you have any questions or want to send me examples of the reports and marketing pieces you've done, I've received some via regular mail and by email, and there's some really great stuff out there. I really enjoyed um, having that shared with me. And some of the people with whom I've been consulting on telephone calls who have been calling from around the country and asking me questions have had some great questions and thoughts about writing headlines and marketing pieces and ways to go. So I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a line, email. Don't forget to hit the like button on my newsletter and um, please forward on to your realtor friends around the country, even the world. Until next time, thanks so much.